Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to discuss uh, entropy, Clausius theorem and uh, property of entropy. The first law of thermodynamics was first applied to cycles, then it was applied to thermodynamic processes. Uh, the existence of a property, the internal energy was first found. The second law of thermodynamics was also applied to cycles first, then uh, when it was applied to thermodynamic processes, that leads to the definition of a new property that is known as uh, entropy. Entropy is a measure of unavailability or degradation of energy that is increase in unavailability or total energy of a system is qualitatively expressed by an increase in its entropy that is about uh, entropy. Now let us discuss uh, Clausius theorem. Let us consider a reversible uh, cycle. Uh, let us divide this reversible cycles uh, into small strips by drawing the uh, reversible adiabatics. These reversible adiabatics are uh, connected at the top and bottom uh, by drawing the uh, reversible isotherms. These reversible isotherms are drawn in such a way that uh, the area under the curve between uh, those two adiabatic uh, strips uh, is same as the area under the virginal cycles, uh, cycle between the same uh, strips. Now uh, the virginal uh, cycle uh, is replaced by large number of uh, uh, Carnot uh, cycles. Uh, consisting of uh, adiabatic uh, and uh, isothermal processes. Let us consider uh, a small elemental cycle uh, A, B, C, D in which uh, delta Q1 amount of heat is supplied at temperature T1 and uh, delta Q2 amount of heat is rejected at temperature T2. By applying uh, Carnot theorem to this elemental cycle, we will get uh, delta Q1 divided by T1 is equal to delta Q2 divided by T2. If heat added to the system is taken as positive and heat rejected by the system is taken as uh, negative, this equation can be rearranged uh, and uh, we will get uh, uh, delta Q1 divided by T1 plus delta Q2 divided by T2 equal to 0. Now let us consider another uh, elemental Carnot cycle EFGH uh, in which uh, delta Q3 amount of heat is supplied at temperature T3, uh, delta Q4 amount of heat is rejected at temperature uh, T4. By applying uh, Carnot theorem to this uh, elemental cycle, we will get uh, delta Q3 divided by T3 plus uh, delta Q4 divided by T4 equal to 0. If uh, Carnot theorem uh, is applied to all the remaining elemental cycle and uh, adding we will get a equation like this uh, that is delta Q1 divided by T1 plus delta Q2 divided by T2 plus delta Q3 divided by T3 plus delta Q4 divided by T4 plus 1 that is equal to 0. This uh, equation reduced uh, this uh, that is cyclic integral of uh, delta Q divided by T for uh, reversible process, reversible cycle uh, is equal to 0. This is called as uh, Clausius theorem. Uh, the letter R uh, equation emphasizes the fact that uh, this equation is valid uh, only for uh, reversible cycles. So that is about uh, Clausius theorem. Now let us discuss uh, property of uh, entropy. Let us consider a system which is uh, initially at state point uh, i and it is taken to final state point f uh, by following the path uh, a reversible path r1 and uh, the system is taken back to initial state uh, point i from uh, the final state point f uh, by following the path uh, r2. Then this constitutes uh, a reversible cycle um, by applying the 
Clausius theorem uh, to this uh, reversible cycle, we will have uh, the equation cyclic integral of delta q divided by t for reversible uh, processes uh, r1 and r2 is equal to 0. If we write uh, for uh, reversible processes r1 and r2 separately, uh, we will have uh, like this that is integration from i to f for delta q divided by t uh, for r1 plus integration from f to i delta q divided by t for r2 that is equal to 0. Uh, after taking the second term to the right hand side, uh, we will have uh, integration from i to f delta q divided by t uh, for r1 is equal to minus integration from f to i delta q divided by t for r2. Uh, here the since the process uh, r2 is a reversible process, uh, limits uh, can be exchanged uh, and that can be written uh, in this way that is uh, integration from i to f uh, delta q divided by t for r1 is equal to integration from i to f for delta q divided by t uh, for r2. Uh, here uh, integration from i to f delta q divided by t uh, for a reversible process is uh, independent of the path that is followed. So, whether it has followed uh, R1 and uh, R2, that, uh, that remains same, that ratio remains same. So, uh, then there exists a property that is uh, integration from I to F delta Q divided by T for a reversible process uh, is a property and that uh, property is called as entropy and that is denoted by Yes, if Si is the entropy at state point uh, I and uh, Sf is the entropy at state point uh, F, then integration from I to F of delta Q divided by T for a reversible process is equal to Sf minus uh, Si. If there is uh, an infinitesimally small change in the state of a system, uh, for that uh, we will have uh, delta q r divided by t is equal to ds uh, where ds is the differential change in entropy of the system when there is uh, infinitesimally small change uh, in the state of the system uh, this uh, property entropy is an extensive property and it has a unit of uh, joules per kelvin Specific entropy that is uh, entropy per unit mass uh, as a unit of uh, joules per kg Kelvin. So that is about uh, property of entropy and uh, that's all in this video. Thank you.